This is the first year that a trans woman is in the competition. How do you feel about that? Amazing. I feel honored to be a part of history. I have a lot of incredible trans friends who are athletes, and so we're all inspired this woman's competing. Uh-huh. And uh, have you actually ever met Heather Swanson? Uh, no, I've never competed against her before, no. She's not exactly your average trans athlete. Well, what is an average trans athlete? Honestly, I find that kind of bigoted, David. Okay. Heather Swanson is actually joining us now. Miss Swanson, how does it feel to be competing today? I can't tell you how free I feel now that I've started identifying as a woman. Now that I can compete as female, I'm ready to smash the other girls. And is it correct you just started identifying as female two weeks ago? I'm not here to talk about my transition. I'm here to kick some f***ing ass. Hey guys, welcome back to Mika Reaction Views, reacting to things on the internet. Same day, same shirt, a different video. And today we're going to be talking about the viral story that I was debating whether I was going to talk about on this channel or not. We're going to talk about the, I think it's Nima Thomas, or Lisa Thomas, the trans woman who has been all over the news right now because she has been breaking every record in the book. Um, and yeah, a lot of people are upset, especially biological women in the sport and just biological women in general. To be completely honest, I was really upset about this. Like, it's just such the disrespect. It's just such the disrespect. I was always taught and raised. Be able to get respect, you give respect. And you have people sitting there saying, respect my feelings, respect how I feel, respect how I identify, respect my pronouns, respect my lived experience, and could give a flying fuck how you feel. Don't care about how you feel, don't care about your emotional state, don't care about your lived experience, don't care how this affects you, don't give a shit at all. But as soon as you, as a person, say this is how I feel, you get attacked by so-called trans activists. You get bullied. People have been attacked in the streets for this biological woman from other men being attacked in the streets just because they stand up and say this is how I feel about this. <laughs> You don't need that sign. That sign doesn't do anything for anyone. You're just hating on people for no fucking reason. Wow. Are you being violent? Lady, it's not for me. Transphobe. Transphobe. Go home. Transphobe. Go home, transphobe. No. I don't mind trans. I just don't give a fuck, bitch. Get out of here. You can walk away. Get the fuck out. Trans folks. But we're all supposed to bend over backwards for someone else, for a very small percentage of the population, or in this case, for one single person. Because of what, wokeness? I feel like a lot of people are very much taking advantage of people wanting to be good people and wanting to do the right thing and wanting to be inclusive. They're taking advantage of people's kindness, they're taking advantage of people's ignorance, and they're taking advantage of people just wanting to be a part of the woke tribe. And I believe Lima or Lisa Thomas or whatever her name is, is a misogynist. And I think she hates women because she does not care about them. She doesn't care how this is affecting them. She doesn't care the opportunities she's taken away from them. She can give a flying crap. She was on the news talking about how like she felt uncomfortable and awkward on a men's team because she was, you know, she felt like a woman and she was, you know, transitioning into a woman. But she could not care less about the female athletes who went and said, we feel uncomfortable being exposed to your male genitalia. From my understanding, Leah still has male genitalia. Is it a source of discomfort that she is in the locker room with you and, and others on the team? Yeah, it's definitely uncomfortable, and it's something that's been expressed to our coach and other members of the athletic department that people are uncomfortable with it, um, especially like back at the beginning of the season. It's something I know for a fact that me and multiple of my teammates went to the coach about, and we were just basically told to suck it up and, you know, to deal with it. Once again, this one person's feelings trumps over everybody else. She felt uncomfortable around the men because she felt like, her and she was transitioning but does not give a crap about how these women are uncomfortable around around her and her male genitalia 
right? It can't be a happy coincidence that this person before they transitioned was a mediocre swimmer at best. Mediocre swimmer, maybe even less than that. Soon as she transitioned, be broke every record there is. Not every record, but she broke a lot of records. Went from being mediocre, nobody knew this person, nobody talked about this person, nobody cared this person, this person wasn't in the news, there was no newspapers written about this person, and now they're getting the royal treatment because they transitioned and beat out and broke records that will never ever be broken again by another biological woman because it's practically impossible. Is that a coincidence or not? Nah? You know what I mean? When females transition into men in the athletic world, they lose. They, they don't beat records. They don't beat the top champion male, biological male champions. But when men transition to women in the athletic world, they take all the world records. They beat all the top female athletes. Biology of sex is a separate issue from someone's gender identity. Biologically, Leah holds an unfair advantage over competition in the women's category. There is differences between the physiological makeup of a transgender woman versus a cisgender woman. And and to allow Leah 100% the ability to be on the women's team and with no um, rules or anything like that, which is not fair. I feel like we're living in upside down world. Like if you even look at the stature of this woman, this trans woman compared to the biological woman, an unfair physical advantage over the other swimmers and should not have been allowed to compete. There's been famous athletes that's come out and said this is not okay. Selena Williams came out and said that if she, as a, as a champion tennis player, went up against a champion male tennis player, he would have an advantage over her and she probably would not beat him. This is an, an elite athlete saying this. The, the Jenner, the one that transitioned, and I can't remember her name right now. I'm, this is no disrespect. I'm just like, <sighs> I'm ranting at the moment. <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner came out and as, again, she transitioned, but she's also used to be a Olympic athlete and she was good at her, her position. She wasn't a nobody, she wasn't mediocre. She was an Olympic champion who came out and said, even as a trans woman, I know I am a biological man and I have advantage, advantages over uh, women. Question of fairness. That's why I oppose biological boys who are trans competing in girl sports in school. It just isn't fair. And we have to protect girl sports in our but, school. But, but if so I believe Michael Phelps came out and said that this is, he didn't directly say like this shouldn't happen, but he said that the, the, uh, the game should be play, played fairly when it comes to what's going on. So you have athletes coming out who know the sport and know what it takes, the strength and the agility and ability to have advantages over your, over your teammates and stuff like that. They know what it takes coming out saying, this is not okay, but you have like these fucking woke university students yelling that it's, there's no biological difference because she took hormones for 24 months, I believe, or something like that. I like, literally feel like we live in clown world. These kids are being threatened to be taken off the team. 
that means they won't have the opportunity to make you know the finals or whatever advance their uh, athletic career not being able to get in front of uh, people that can give them scholarships and so a lot of these girls are really scared into silence they've been showing that they're upset in a lot of different ways by just their body language by their behavior towards her there have been com people come out in anonymously there have been interviews and stuff like that their coaches their assistant coaches their the the support staff they're all telling them that they cannot talk about this and if they have a problem that they need to go to therapy they're like you can use our therapist here instead of being able to have a dialogue so you've chosen to remain anonymous why is that because there's about two percent of the population in this country who attack people no matter what they say they don't actually have an argument and they don't present any facts or logic they just want to attack other people and like bring people down and i just don't really want to subject myself to that the other teammates who see this the same way that you do how do they feel about speaking out about this are they scared i think a lot of my teammates are really scared you're a virginia tech swimmer what did you think about leah thomas competing today as a swimmer in this competition um, what are you feeling what are other athletes feeling it's a common conception that we are all very disappointed and frustrated with someone who is, has capabilities more than us women have to be able to compete at this level and take opportunities away from other women. Like I have a teammate who did not make finals today because she was just bumped out of finals. And it's heartbreaking to see someone who went through puberty as a male and has the body of a male be able to absolutely blow away the competition. And you go into it with a mindset that you, are, you don't have a chance if that makes sense. Like, it's hard to compete against someone with the aerobic capacity, the muscle development, the body of a man. It, it's hard. It's hard to think about it like that. And staying positive, I bet, for other swimmers who are in that uh, heat is probably overwhelming. It's disappointing to see and frustrating, definitely. And you said that one of your teammates was crying today because she didn't make the finals. Uh, you said that she was 17th yes. and there were 16 spots. Yes. So uh, Leah Thomas took one of those spots. Yes. Uh, talk to us about what your teammate uh, was going through and, and that experience. She was very emotional and it's hard to see because it's her last NCAAs and um, she really loves that race and it was just heartbreaking to see that she put all her effort into it today and when the best time that she's went in a morning session before and still not make it back. It, it, it's hard to see someone who works every day, every night, still not be able to compete against someone like that. They're scared of losing their opportunity for something that some of these people have worked on their entire life. They're scared of losing that opportunity to get a scholarship in school or just advance their career, maybe go to the Olympics. I'm not really sure what all their aspirations are. Biological female spaces are being taken away from them. Like this is misogyny at, at, at its best. This is not just about you know the, the athletic world. This is bathroom, this is showers, this is rape centers. That rape center that got vandalized because one of the victims in the rape center says she doesn't feel comfortable being around male genitalia because she was sexually assaulted with someone with, met with male genitalia. There's been children and women being assaulted and raped because people go inside these bathrooms claiming to be trans trans women and then sexually insulting these women but we're all told to shut up be quiet and just take it if you don't have any respect or any empathy or sympathy for the people around you you cannot sit there and put your hand out and ask for people to give you empathy sympathy and respect back you don't get none until you show some that's just how it is that's how the world works anyway that's it that's all i got guys <laughs> Let me know what you think of this story. I don't know if this is appropriate to put on this channel or not. Like, I don't know exactly how this channel is going. I just want to react to what I want to react to. And tell me, you guys, if you are okay with this in the comment section below. And what do you just think about what's going on? What do you think that can be done about this? Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You can tell I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell to get the notifications when I do upload. All of that really does help with the algorithm, guys. And if you'd like to support the channel further, you can donate. My PayPal my link is in the description box below and also in the comment section. Of course it helps, but you don't have to. You can just like, comment, and subscribe. Another great way to support the channel is either join my brand new membership program, different levels, different tiers, different perks, or you can visit me in my brand new merch shop. Links down below. And I also have a second travel vlog channel. I travel as a lifestyle or I live abroad. If you'd like to know where I am in the world, you can go to the description box below and also in the comment section. Hit the link, go subscribe to my travel vlog channel and or follow me in my travel Instagram, my storage is usually what's most of the date. And you guys have an amazing day. Bye.